Hey guys, Carrie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally getting to my IBS Las Vegas haul. So as you can see, I have all these bags here. Guys, I don't mean to be braggy whatsoever. This is not the intent of my video. I just want to show you some of the great stuff I picked up um, and hopefully um, shed some light on some of the products and maybe you'll want to pick some up yourself. So let's get to it. So one of the first booths I visited was EBL. I love EBL as a whole. I love Lindy who owns it. I love um, all of their educators and brand ambassadors and their products are just so great. So I went to them first off um, and I love their products. So um, I got quite a bit from them. Uh, first things first, uh, I picked up an EBL t-shirt, which guys, I actually picked up a lot of shirts um, in Vegas so I will be doing kind of a lash t-shirt try on um, in another video because uh, I actually have quite a collection now so uh, look forward to look forward to that but that's it right there super cute um, and of course I got myself just an EBL lanyard uh, which I love um, I gotta get my keys on there because I love repping the, the brands that I love so I got this um, I got myself a EBL tweezer case I really like these versus the magnetic ones because I feel like they stay more secure. So I've already got some of my tweezers in here, um, but it just has little loops and it sticks in really nice and tight. They do have a magnetic case, I just prefer this style. I think it keeps the tweezers um, more secure. So picked up one of these. Um, and then I just got a bunch of lashes, which I love EBL lashes. Uh, they're some of my favorites. Um, I love them because they are super, super black. They're kind of like black like um, J. Brown Beauty's lashes. They're very dark. Um, they fan so well. Um, I love the consistency of their curls. So I picked up all of the D curl trays from 8 to 13. Um, as you can see, I've already kind of digged into some of them. Or dug in. Digged? Dugged? I already opened them and started to use them. <laughs> Something about the camera just kind of makes you talk a little funny. So anyways, I got all of the D curl and then I got the L plus curl as well. They're in my um, lash drawer though right now and I didn't want to take them out. But um, So I actually picked up a ton of lashes. Um, I really love their products. Highly recommend if you haven't tried them already. So yeah, moving on. Okay, I lied. The first place I went was actually a hair brand, Amika. Um, I love their stuff. I'm not like ride or die their products, but there were two that I wanted to try that were really interesting. And they're not even really hair products. So I picked up their Signature Room Fragrance. Now, if any of you guys have ever used this brand, you know they have the most delicious smelling products ever. So I kind of wanted it to be my lash room smell. So I picked up a perfume and just like any other kind of fragrance spray, comes in a kind of a semi big bottle and it smells delicious. My clients comment it all the time. And then I also got a second one, but this one is actually just like a hair and body perfume spray. And I absolutely love it. Oh, ripped the box. It's a really kind of warm, sultry, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not like a fragrance wizard here, but um, they it smells so good, guys. So I would definitely try out this brand for hair. It's really good, but their fragrance sprays are delicious. So check them out. Okay, so another lash brand I had to go see was Lash Makers. They were actually pretty much right next to EBL if you saw my um, IBS vlog that I did and I'll have to link that below so you can check it out, my time there. Um, so I went and saw Lash Makers. I loved their booth, it was really nice and clean and classic, but I also love their products. So I had been hearing such great things about their Pure Bond adhesive, which is their clear adhesive. Now clear adhesives are like so popular right now and I have a couple favorites and I hadn't tried theirs yet. So I picked one up 
And actually, I picked up a lot of clear adhesives. Um, not just at Vegas, IBS Vegas, but just in the past couple weeks. So look out for my clear adhesive review um, because I just love clear adhesives and I'm on the lookout for my very favorite run. Favorite one. Uh, so far, J Brown Beauty is probably my favorite, but we'll see um, after I've tried all of them. So, But I picked up the Lash Makers Pure Bond. I picked up their 117 tweezers. Now, they're not in the box because I use them and they're actually in my um, barbicide right now, sanitizing, so disinfecting rather. So, uh, But they're like an L plus um, tweezer, so I'll have to show you a little picture in a minute. But I picked up one of those and then I also picked up um, their lash box. Now this is the five drawer. Um, it just keeps all of your trays um, nice and clean and organized. I really wanted to give it a shot. Um, they also come in a 10 row, but I kind of only stick with volume and I only needed this many. Um, but it also comes with stickers so you can keep them organized by, you know, diameter and curl and all of that stuff. Um, and as you can see, they have all the lengths already on there on the tray. And then they just slide right in and they're covered. And it's such a clean and convenient way to store all of your lash tiles. So I'm excited to get this started. Oh, and if you're wondering, <laughs> if you watched my IBS vlog video, you saw these, but the Lash Professional, it's a newer lash brand, they were giving these away. They're just these little eyelash... I don't know what you call these, but I decided to wear it today. I thought they were so fun. So just in case you're like wondering, like, what am I wearing? That's what that is. So, okay, moving on. So, um, I haven't been doing any kind of lash lifts. I've been doing lash tinting for a long time and I learned lash lifting, uh, but haven't really incorporated into my, uh, salon yet, but I decided to pick up Ellie Bana. Um, a couple weeks ago, I asked on Instagram, I asked you know what was everyone's favorite brand and this was like by far the top brand so I went and picked up just their basic beginners kit so I'm really excited to try this out I've had a lot of clients or a lot of people asking if I offer this so I'm so excited to start um, offering lash lifting it's a great alternative to someone who maybe can't afford lashes um, or maybe is allergic to adhesive or for whatever reason I'm just really excited to offer this secondary service you know it's all about lashes and making them look gorgeous but kind of low maintenance and less expensive so I'm really excited so I'll have to let you know how that goes for sure okay so let's pause on the lash stuff um, I went and saw Skin Caroline um, there were so many there but I have always loved image I've been using image skincare since aesthetic school and that was back in 2010 so I've been using them for a long time so I just picked up some treatments that I could use on myself I don't often do facials and chemical peels on clients anymore. I used to do that quite a bit, um, but now I just focus on lashes and brows, but I still love their products for myself. Um, so I picked up the Ageless Total Resurfacing Mask. So it's like a white mask that um, also has small round beads in it um, for exfoliation, but then also contains glycolic and lactic acid. Um, so it's kind of like a double whammy exfoliation treatment. Not only do you have the physical beads that are kind of scrubbing, but you also have those acids that help too. So I've been using this for a long time. I absolutely love it. Um, if you're in search of a really good mask that will help kind of with acne and kind of like anti-aging and everything, this is a great one that you can use at home. And I absolutely love it. And then um, I actually picked up their Perfection Peel. This is like... Which I would say it's comparable to like a Jesner peel if you're familiar with skincare and acids that clients use. Um, that's kind of what this peel is. It's like a Jesner peel which has resorcinol, acid, lactic acid, and salicylic acid. So it's like a real kind of bossy peel. Like when you use this, you're like red and you're peeling and you're like, it's really aggressive. So I plan to start doing this to my own skin. Um, come fall time when it's less sunny and less hot because you really don't want to be treating your skin like this in the summer months. So, um, and I've thought about doing like a before and after or like, you know, a weekly progress or a monthly progress with this peel. So if that's something you'd like to see, 
Um, I'm just looking to kind of fade some fine lines and some of my, um, I have a lot of freckles, which I don't mind my freckles, but they get really dark in the summer. So this kind of helps me maintain them a bit. So if you're interested in seeing like how my skin is with this peel, let me know and I'll consider doing that video. So again, Image Skin Care, amazing. I love it. So yeah, check them out. Another lash brand I checked out was Lash Affair. Now, if you saw my IBS vlog, um, I did a little interview with them, um, actually both ways. They interviewed me for their blog, and then I interviewed um, Janelle, who is uh, the owner. So they're out of Canada. So I had to check out some of their things. Um, first and foremost, I picked up their amazing Love Shack. So the Love Shack, such a cute name, it is their adhesive container. So there are a lot of adhesive containers on the market, um, but they're just airtight, meaning it's just like a jar and you screw it on and it's airtight. But the thing is, it's still trapping in air, which means it's still trapping in, you know, moisture to a degree because there's moisture in the air. So what I love about this, it's the only one that's actually vacuum sealed. So we should zoom in so you actually can hear it. So you press this button and then you can, and you almost hear that like suction. And then when you close it, it's that suction again and it's like pushing out the air. So to me, this is the best way to store your adhesive because it completely um, gets out all the air um, from your adhesive. So I had to get one of these, they're amazing. And along with that, I picked up their clear adhesive. So it's the clear connection. Um, I'm so excited to use this. I've already used it maybe twice on clients. So um, once I use it a little bit more, I'll let you know how it goes. But so far I'm really liking it. And of course I keep it nice and secure inside my love shack. So I know probably you guys will ask like what I store in here with it. Um, I have silica beads. Let's zoom in here on that if we can. So if you look inside here, you have those little silica beads, which you'll find in little packets in your food or for clothing or shoes. Um, you can also purchase like a bag of silica beads on Amazon. They're really inexpensive and that's what I store it in. Um, however, if you want, like if you just want a cheaper solution, I used to store my adhesive in rice. So that's another way that you can keep all the moisture out. Um, obviously really cheap. Who doesn't just have rice laying around in their home? Um, I would say though, make sure that the manufacturer um, wants you to store it in um, in something like this. Um, for example, the, let me pull it out here. Just me. The Pure Bond from Lash Makers. Now she has said that this adhesive is not good to store in the refrigerator and it is not good to store in like rice or silica beads. So I could store this inside the Love Shack, but I would just take out the silica beads. So my point is just make sure that you read the directions, um, you really check with the manufacturer because some adhesives are great to store in rice and all that stuff, they wanna keep the moisture out. But adhesives like Pure Bond, which are very thin, usually it's thinner adhesives, um, you don't wanna store in something like that because it can prematurely dry them out. So just check with your manufacturer. Anyways, but back to Lash Affair, picked up the Love Shack, picked up their cleanser, or not their cleanser, sorry, their adhesive. Um, I also picked up their eyeliner pen. So this was specifically made safe for lash extension. So um, I actually got two of them. One I got um, for a client of mine who is like the eyeliner queen. She loves her eyeliner, so, um, but it's obviously been um, affecting her attention. So I got one for her and she's been trying out and I got this one for me so I'm gonna start trying it out as well um, and I'll let you know how it goes and see how it um, works with lash extension so I got their liner and then just a cute little lanyard as well so I love Lash Affair again really great people um, really friendly great customer service um, really friendly oh I did get one more thing from them pause <gasps> okay I'm back so I did get one more thing. I just forgot that I put it away. Um, I picked up, so I've used Lash Affair lashes before. Um, I have their L Curl, um, but they just came out with a Couture lash collection. 
So their original collection is much more matte and very, I would say they look very textured. So it gives you that really kind of edgy textured look and it's really matte. So these Couture, coat, guys, I'm not gonna be able to say that word. Couture lashes, they're, they're still matte, but they still have a little bit more sheen. Um, they seem to be um, a little, a little more black and yeah, so apparently they're supposed to be easier to fan um, and obviously they're darker. So I will let you know how these go. There are other lashes I love. They give that really good edgy uh, PC look. They're really textured look. So we'll see how these goes. But I also picked up one of these just so I could try out their new, their new line. So excited to try them out. All right. So while I was in Vegas, um, I was able to go see Dear Lash Love, which if you guys know them on Instagram, um, they make really great t-shirts and lash products like mirrors and notebooks and things like that. I love their stuff. So cute. So she didn't have a booth at IBS. She hosted kind of a little party get together at a little suite in a hotel. So I went, um, it was so fun. She had lots of delicious treats and photo booth stuff and lots of girls came. It was really fun to mix and mingle, but I did pick up some stuff while I was there. Um, I picked up her kind of iconic uh, lash tee. I've already worn it, so <laughs> it looks a little wrinkled, but um, I love it. It's like a really nice flowy shirt with just the cute little eyelashes right there. So it's so simple. I find that this is one that I can wear um, while I'm lashing. Obviously, I love to wear lash shirts while I'm lashing, but it's kind of subtle and cute enough that I'll just wear it any day because it's just so soft, so comfortable, and I get a lot of compliments on it. So. Got that, love it. I also picked up her name brand shirt, which is the shirt with her logo. Dear Lash Love, um, super cute. Just another basic one that I can wear while I'm lashing. Um, anything lash related. And I, like I said, guys, I have a ton of lash t-shirts. So I'm excited to do this kind of like try on for you guys, it's really fun, so. Um, she gave away as little favors um, little notebooks, um, love them. It's just really small, but these are cute because you can use them for anything, but I have another one and I've been using my, um, I've been using it as my lash notes, like for clients, like I'll put in their, you know, all the deets for their lashes and then also put in like, you know, what brow like tint I use and all that stuff. So just client notes, that's what I've been using it for. So I'm just really glad to get a second one. I really like it. She also gave away um, little lash mirrors, which I think are so cute. They're really simple, good size. Um, I know they, she sells them on her website, um, I think in wholesale. So if you wanted to purchase these to sell to clients or give away as gifts or something, they're really great for that. So she gave away these. She also uh, gave away the cutest little pop sockets for your phones. Now, she actually had these sitting on cupcakes, so they were like a cupcake topper. It was so fun. So, yes, I ate two cupcakes. I was kind of, <laughs> I was a little bit greedy at the party. She had really good snacks. So, this one is just the iconic Dear Lash Love logo. It was the Eyelashes Plus Heart. So, I got that one I loved. And then this one I thought was really funny. It says, I didn't get your text. Because, like, we've all said that, right? Low-key, we've all said that. <laughs> You did get the text, but you say you didn't. Anyway, so I thought these were so cute, loved them. And then another thing she gave away just for free was these little um, poster boards with some of her lash sayings. You'll find these on her actual shirts, but then she put them on paper or a nice sturdy cardboard. So I plan to put this in a cute little frame and hang it in you know, my lash room. Uh, so I thought that was cute. Lashes, everything, super cute. So. Um, she gave away a lot of goodies. Um, she's a really fun lady, um, boss lady if you ever did know one. She's just awesome. Um, it was great to connect with her and so many other lash artists that came to the event. So those were the goodies that I got. It was a lot of fun. Okay, so another brand that I picked up or another product I picked up was a lash and brow tint company that I am obsessed with. So I've been using this particular brand for 10 years. And I've used a lot. I know there are many, I can't even name them all. There's so many. However, the majority that I've seen, they tend to have weird undertones. Either they'll have kind of a green undertone or like a purpley blue undertone 
or they're way too warm. So this is the only one that I have found gives off the most natural pigments. So the brand is called Hair Pearl. They've been around for 20 years and they are formulated out of Germany, I believe. So I have a contact email or a phone number and that's how I order. Uh, I'm sure you could go on their website and kind of find how to get a hold of them, but that's just how I do it. Again, they really have the most natural colors. So I picked up two colors that I use the most, which are natural and middle brown. Natural is kind of like your cooler tone blondes and middle brown is kind of like a warmer blonde or even like a strawberry blonde. I use it for me. Now they have other colors that I have, but those are the two that I use the most. But if you're on the lookout for a really great tint that lasts really long, distributes really strong color, but the colors themselves are very natural, Hair Pearl, definitely recommend. And I'll link their website below so you don't miss it. Definitely recommend them. Okay, last but not least, this is where I picked up the goods, guys. Look at this giant bag. <laughs> Satin Smooth Pro. So, um, I've had the same wax pots. This is embarrassing, should I even admit it? <laughs> I've had them for years. And they were just starting to give out. They weren't, they weren't warming up the wax at even temperatures. Sometimes they'd cut out and I was like, no, I just gotta go for it. So I went and purchased the Satin Smooth Pro Double Wax Warmer. I absolutely love this warmer because it has this lid. So you don't see like the gross, yucky wax station. Just keeps it closed. But I bought this whole kit, which is great. It came with the warmer itself. It came with two waxes. It also came with a roll of your wax paper. Some wax pot guards came with some products, came with their, their treatment here. So a skin cleanser and then a, a wax remover. Um, both are really great. And then it came with this whole little package full of other things that you'll need. It like came with a ton of stuff, guys. It was actually a really great deal. So it came with these little tools here. This is like a brow groomer, comber thing, whatever. And then this is like their scissors, which are so cool, guys. Let me show you these. They're different than like your traditional scissors or whatever. They're like embroidery scissors, but they're really great because they're actually really good um, grip, but also like healthy ergonomically for your hand. Um, and I love them. So I wanted to pick up some of these and I just came with the kit, which is really great. Then I just came with some more essentials, came with some wax sticks um, and some other little goodies that came with plus the bag. So. It was a huge kit, but it was so needed. I had my other wax pots for like, I swear it was like 10 years. Probably wasn't that long, but it just felt like that. Um, so this is a really high quality one. Uh, other brands have double wax warmers, single warmers, but this is the one I felt has the best reviews. Plus, Kelly Baker Brows, the queen of brows. This is the, the line that she uses. So anything that's good enough for the brow queen, Kelly, it's good enough for me, so I had to pick up one of these kits, so. All right guys, that concludes my IBS haul video. It was quite a lot, and I spent way more than I planned on, so keep that in mind when you go to your next beauty show. So I picked up a lot of just basic staples in my lash collection. A lot of great stuff that I know works and I know is really good, and then I got a lot of new stuff. So let me know if there's anything in here you're specifically interested on for a review or you know just my basic thoughts and opinions I will likely do some reviews on some of these brands and some of the adhesives like we talked about more videos to come so stay tuned but thanks so much guys for tuning in and watching this and I will see you on my next video bye guys like subscribe share see you later guys